Hey Cancer, this is Soul. And Cancer, this is your bi-weekly messages uh, beginning March 25th and ending um, April 7th, 2019. Okay, new month, new energy. Uh, using a new deck. I'm using the Witch's Tarot deck. Um, never used this deck before to do readings. Uh, the cards are beautiful. I... The only thing I don't like is the uh, the stock is very, very flimsy. Okay, I don't like flimsy cards. Uh, it's very hard for me to uh, shuffle. But anyway, we'll see what's going on in terms of what uh, potentially could come up for us uh, during this next two-week period of time. All right, so, Cancer, what are the messages for my fellow crabs? Next two weeks. I did... Uh, Prior to recording, I uh, did take some cards out to uh, reverse them. Uh, <clears throat> so far, only a couple reverse cards have shown up for the other signs that I read for already. So let's just see what's going on. A lot of major arcana has been showing up too. So I've been shuffling um, pretty good here. And was surprised that a lot of the majors were showing up for, I think it was Aries. All right, so anyway, Cancer, uh, the shadow card energy that is at the bottom of the deck, and it may be uh, some energy that plays out for us for the next two-week period of time, along with the other energies here, uh, relates to, okay, the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords was just in Gemini's um, reading, and that was the uh, bottom card. All right, so the Ace of Swords is about victory and success. It's about determination. It's about Wanting to possibly do something new, adventurous. Uh, it's about deter. Oh, it's about determination. Aces are fresh starts, new beginnings, and some type of endeavor. And because it is the swords, it's about you making decisions and being very, very uh, successful and determined um, in whatever it is that you are. Uh, set forth to do okay so ace of swords in the upright is the shadow card energy and like i said before it may be something that plays out uh for us uh, along with the rest of the energies but i'm not liking the card that is the overall energy for us oh my god do we ever get a fucking break okay so and you see me shuffle these cards right here in front and live for you is the three of swords okay three of swords is showing up for another sign i don't recall we have the Three of Swords here. So this is a card in the upright that's almost as powerful as uh, sometimes as the Tower, the Major Arcana. So whatever this Three of Swords, depending on the rest of the cards that show up for us, Cancer, uh, maybe, uh, you know, more telling. But anyway, Three of Swords energy opens us up for the two weeks. So there's some kind of grief, heartache, separation sadness conflict that we may have to deal with and because this is a general uh, general reading it could be um you know incorporated to into almost anything i don't want to spend too much time talking about that and then um the other thing that i picked up with the other um sign that it showed up for was that uh someone had commented or threw a comment in and said that you know the three of swords could also represent uh, a child as a third party uh, interference. So that could be that could be the case, you know, if it applies to your situation. But this three of swords is, um, you know, in the upright position. The only time I like it to show up at all is when it's in the reverse. OK, so some type of grief. And like I said, the other cards may be um, may be revealed to let us know or give us an indication of what type type of grief or sadness, separation that we may have to be dealing with. It's a love triangle for sure. Uh, third party energy that's coming into play. It could be, uh, you know, you cancer. And there's a friend that's coming in between or trying to stick a wedge between you and another friend. It could be a family member. However, the three of swords uh, energy applies to you. This is the message that's coming through. Still keep in mind that we have the shadow energy of the uh, Ace of Swords as victory and success, and it may uh, play out along with some type of energy, uh, you know, with the rest of the cards here. Following the Three of Swords, uh, Cancer, now we have, okay, thank you. We have the Sun. All right, so 
This is a major arcana. It's in the upright position. So even though it's still, as I, you know, um, read it, it's still part of our energy for the next two week period of time, but it's in the past. Maybe the uh, three of swords here is um, someone is getting some type of relief. Some type of relief of uh, heartache, separation or grief, whatever that is energy relates to you i don't want to go too deep with these uh readings here i'm trying to keep it as simple as i possibly can because if i go too deep then you know some people will say oh you go ahead and go deep no when i go too deep then it's like oh you shouldn't have went so deep because someone's going to have a problem you know I, i'm not here to try to please the masses so i'm just going to tell you that there is some type of relief of energy Related to the uh, Three of Swords for us in the overall. And remember, the Three of Swords shows up as the overall energy. So it could be that someone has been handed some sort of grief uh, from the prior two weeks of a separation of some type of energy. Now, it would be interesting to see, and I'm not going to go directly to that card until I you know, go in sequence here, but it may be uh, more information for the card that's underneath that three of swords to let me know um, possibly what could have taken place or what could be taking place in the next two week period of time. But the one thing that I am um, very happy to uh, to you know bring on to you is that we have the sun in our favor in spite of the three of swords as the overall energy. The minors do not trump the majors. The majors trump sometimes the energies of the minors. So keep that in mind. While this card is in the upright positions is about happiness, success in connection with the Ace of Swords as the shadow card energy. And then, you know, um, this is about relationships. So that's where I was pulling in the energy about a relationship. Maybe there was a separation from some type of relationship with a, a cancer or two that I'm reading for because the sun oftentimes relates to relationships as well. Uh, following that three of swords specifically. OK, and so I have the horse looking back in the direction of the three of swords. We have the child that's on the back of the horse. So whatever that separation uh, energy means uh, for you, this is what's coming up. Also to the energy of the sun uh, in terms of me uh, and doing my interpretation and what I pick up, it could be someone having to have dealt with um and always get hospitals and, and, and medical appointments and treatments and stuff like chemo, um, radiation, um, regular, you know, uh, hospital visits or just uh, appointed, um, not appointed, but uh, scheduled appointments with doctors. So I'm just going to say that if this... Three of hearts or three of hearts. Why do I keep saying three of hearts? Three of swords is showing up here. And then we have the um, sun showing up here. Maybe there was some sort of separation with some type of energy. OK, so I'm just going to leave it like that. But we do have it still in our reading. And it's about happiness, joy and uh, success. And like I said before, it's in connection with the uh, shadow card energy, victory and success and determination. So. The card that's following the sun cancer now is the, uh, okay, so we have the six of cups. So we have your energy. Six of cups is in the upright position. So this is going down memory lane. This also could be um, how I oftentimes pick up that this two week period of time, specifically for someone that I'm reading for, could be memorializing uh, someone that was very close to them. Now, that could be a child. That could be a family member. That could be a friend. And hence, we have the opening of, uh, energy of the Three of Swords as a separation, still grieving over a suffering of a loss uh, or dealing with some type of conflict. Then we have the Six of Cups, where it's always about past relationships, okay? Someone from your past still could be energy related to someone um, trying to reach out to you reconnect with you that could be um a family member that you haven't uh seen or heard from in a long time it could be a friend that you haven't seen or heard from in a long time it could represent ex-lovers and then there's an interest of 
Uh, it could also be you, Cancer, just having to go down memory lane, thinking of, uh, f- you know, things from your past that brought in uh, good, happy times and happy moments. OK, because, you know, they always say that not all crabs, but some of us crabs live in our past. OK, because it's those things in our past that always uh, bring us back to happy, happier times. At least for me, it does. But I don't stay there. OK, I might think of a. Uh, just recently, I thought of a, a, a you know a friend that I haven't seen in a long time, and just was re- you know reminiscing, uh, you know of the good times that we did have, uh, but it's been over like thirty years, and um, they're still with us. They haven't passed or anything like that. I just haven't. I just lost connection or communication with them. So it could be like I said before, cancer that there is uh, reason to. Uh, Think of someone from your past and it could be from, uh, you know, memorializing them. This could be the energy of when that person that was, uh, you know, with you, uh, this the time of their passing, per se. And this is, you know, could explain the three of swords that's showing up, still grieving over suffering a loss from someone that you were close to. All right. And remember, I have. The child on the horse, so it could be something. And then the cups always represent children for me. Uh, So it could be someone still grieving over a loss of a child, uh, per se. All right. But whatever it is um, and whatever this six of cups means for you, there's still the potential of someone that you haven't heard from uh, reaching out to you. It could be that you reach out or try to reach back to someone that you haven't heard from or seen in a long period of time. But it's always about those welcomed good memories okay all right so the card that's following the uh six of cups representing your energy cancer and that of scorpio and pisces is the oh this justice card has been showing up quite a bit here (laughs) all right so we have the justice justice being served things being balanced or you know um wrongs being righted libra represents the justice card this could be dealing with uh, legalities court cases lawsuits um, in the upright is always in your favor. Then there's, uh, she's carrying the scale. So the scales that she's holding are balanced. So it could be your mental capacity for the next two week period of time is balanced. Um, but whatever it is, this justice card comes in to say that I'm on your side. Whatever was wrongfully done to you we're going to correct that and that could be the energy of you know dealing with people from your relationship it also could be something in conjunction with the three of swords trying to correct or make things right for you wrongs being righted also too it depends on what the card is that's underneath this justice card might be uh, more information to reveal All right, so following the Justice card here uh, of Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, Cancer, we now have, okay, there we go. See, there we go. This is the Major Arcana, the Death card. So there was definitely some type of ending of some type of energy because the Three of Swords is over top of this Death card. So the Death card comes in, and I never read the Death card as actual physical death, and I never read it in terms of uh, anything negative. It is a card that relates to energy of a releasing of having to let something go. Now, if in fact um, there was an ending to a relationship, which I strongly feel. This death card said, well, there's going to be a presentation of something new. If you are fully able or capable of releasing and letting go. This is a card of releasing any types of pent up grief and having to uh, hold everything in. Someone has not grieved properly or fully. That's the death card. Death card represents Scorpio and then other energies, your energy and then that of Pisces. So this card here, the death card is a major transformation. So we could be going through some type of major transformation, but it's always for our highest good. But the death card in the upright has said that there's something of, you know, of 
of or about us that we need to release that's no longer working for us or it's time to um, finally, you know, grieve completely to, and you know, in order for us to move on in our life. And keep in mind, we have the sun here. We have the sun. Okay, so, you know, death card underneath that uh, three of swords is definitely an energy of some type of relationship that has come to an end or will be coming to an end. Okay, so um, after the death card there, Cancer, we now have, um, okay, the two of wands. So this is a card of, uh, you know, ideals being formed, uh, writing uh, plans down for the future, goals. Um, but you're not ready to move forward with those things. So we get the ideas, but, um, it could be incorporated with business. It's a number two. It could be, uh, something to do with a relationship. He's in the direction of the death card. So if it is, um, the ending of a relationship, there's a new relationship that's coming, but this person is waiting. This person is waiting because normally this is a card of lack of progress or stagnation when it comes to the energies of relationships and how I read. But what's favorable is the fact that it's underneath the sun. So there is happiness to be acquired. And there's a, a certain degree of, well, there's a degree of certainty that happiness in some type of relationship. Now, this could also, re, it's not just romantic. It could be a friendship. It could be something going on with the family. This gentleman here, and like I said before, this is the very first time that I've used this deck. I only, once I received the deck, and that was about, oh, God, a year or so ago, I just looked at the images and put it back in the box. So this this person on this card is facing the death card. So there's, it's like there's someone on weight or there's a, someone new that's coming into our lives. Now, that could be a romantic relationship or friendship, or it could be that there is um, someone from the past that was a family member that you haven't seen in a long period of time, or it could be a friend that you haven't seen in a long period of time. That's the two of wands talking to me, representing fire energies, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Okay, so following the two of wands now, uh, Cancer, we have the Knight of Wands. So it's right underneath that Six of Cups. So someone from your past is definitely trying to uh, reestablish things with you or they've been thinking of you or you've been thinking of them uh, heavily. But I feel that there could be a greater connection or a reconnection with this energy during this two week period of time. Knight of Wands is the knight in shining armor. Uh, someone could come along and, and help you. Uh, this could be a family member as well. Um because they are the knights that come and aid, come and support you. But this particular wands or this particular knights, I should say, cancer, they don't stick around too long. All right. They don't stick around. They do just come in and do what they need to do. And then they're off and running again. OK, so. However, that is in, incorporated with the um, six of cups and depending on what this very last card is, um, could give me more information, but also to keep in mind is Knight of Wands in the upright position mirrors the death card. So that means that there is a new relationship of some type coming towards cancer. If there was a uh, ending of a relationship, this is an ending. This is a transformation. The death card is very, very powerful in the terms of its energies. Uh, and it's up there with the, the tower, of course, being the highest. But the death card has its own uh, set of energies as well as the sun. So don't, you know, downplay the sun's energy because it shows up here or, you know, upplay the death card because it's here. Remember, the three of swords is still a minor. So whatever the messages are that are coming through and, you know, if they are some messages that resonate and relate to you, um, then so be it. Use these energies to, uh, you know, uh, help you out. And use them for guidance. 
Also, too, I you know been saying that you don't have to be a professional tarot reader. I'm, I'm presenting the cards uh, for you. You know, if you have some type of knowledge of you know tarot and how things work and, and whatnot. You know, because whatever I say and whatever comes out of my mouth is not written in stone. OK, you can take these same energies and then create your own uh, energies and your own story. All right. But I do feel that there's an ending and a new beginning in some endeavor, but it's um, related to some type of um, relationship. OK, so the very last card I have for you, Cancer. OK, now it's the three of wands, because I was going to say what the two of wands is ideas Writing things down, goal setting goals, planning, but not moving anywhere. Unless the three of swords shows up in the spread, that means that there may be. And then you have these three wands right in a row. So it may be that there's some new idea that comes to you, Cancer. It could also be the relationship, even though it's a three. It could be that relationship since it mirrors the uh, two of wands and the uh, death card as something new that's on the horizon. These wands also are cards of inspiration. So you may be inspired. Now, if this is, uh, uh, you know, the knight of wands is an actual person, but it may be just the energies. OK, it may, it may be that you are quickly inspired to do something. Um, it could be, you know. Thinking of someone and calling someone that you haven't uh, talked to or seen in a while, whoever that may be. Or it could be the energies coming towards you where someone is thinking of you and then they're, you know, reaching out to you very quickly. You know, they're inspired to uh, make a connection or make a reconnection with you. But whatever these cards of inspiration means for you, the two of wands is definitely uh, things coming to us in terms of ideas and then, you know, possibly writing those things down. But we're moving quickly to whatever comes to us because the Three of Wands is the very last card that is here. And this character here, Cancer, by the way, is facing the direction of the Knight and the Two of Wands. Okay? So, even though it's the Three of Wands, you know, oftentimes uh, get a feel that it could be a traveling card as well. So some of you may be traveling during this uh, two week period of time now because this most of the ones uh, depict, you know, um, someone standing over a sea or looking over could be overseas traveling to uh, a distant, you know, place. Which could, re you know, be a vacation. Maybe someone's planning a trip. And then take off on that trip like as soon as they plan it. So many things could be coming through. All right. But don't make your major focus on this reading based on that three of swords there. Because you have a lot of good energy here. And like I said before, you have justice. And then you also have death. Which I never, like I said before in my previous reading, see that as something that is negative. There is something. It may not be related to an actual physical relationship. But it may be some type of energy cancers that is going on with us. Uh, that's not working out for us. Okay. That's no longer working out for us. And uh, we need to release it and let it go. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I'm not doing the cards of inspiration this week. Uh, just to save time. Uh, and just to change up the energy. But anyway, this is your reading. I uh, hope it is helpful and um, beneficial. Please throw in those comments. Keep them clean. Be safe. Always emphasizing that safety. And I'm sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way. Until I talk to you again, Cancer. Be well. Bye.